Radio. Uh, right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the inaugural F2 race. Yes, we have brought you a new series. Once again, RF1 guys, very, very innovative of us. I know using what is available on the game to bring you a series. How fucking magical. <laughs> but tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is kind of a bit more of a serious approach. The inaugural, as I mentioned, race of the F2 division. We've got Andy B. First out on track, of course. The first person who'll be going to set a timed lap, I believe, if I'm correct. Yes, he is. Andy B, of course, tonight. I'm going to have to go onto here to find out what car he's in because I was meant to do preparation, but I've been sleeping. MP Motorsport, isn't he, mate? He's in the MP Motorsport. So he's in the Member of Parliament Motorsport, which is quite ironic because he's Irish. I've not even gone through the lineup yet, you jackass. Um, <laughs> I forgot. Um, it's Ultra Vemmons and Bish teammates, of course. We've got Elite. We've got ourselves Dolby and JLo and Soljian, King Chris and Jono. We've got Kovchi and Stocky teammates, of course. We've got Andy B. In the other, we've got Jockey and uh, Shaggy. And I believe that is Trident. We've got uh, Twisted and Mirko Am I correct there, right? Sneaky Wolf working with us, by the way. How are you doing, Snakes? Hey. <laughs> So there, we've actually got two, two cars correct. Two Saturdays, which is obviously, as Paul said, starting tonight. We got in the Carlin Racing, Venoms and Bishadinho, ART Grand Prix, RF1 Elite and Taboo Koala, who has officially not made it tonight. He's stuck in New Zealand. In the Dams Racing, we got Mr. Dolby 22 and the J Ludman. Prima, no one's turned up. They got uh, quarantined in <laughs> Italy. It's Little John and Wybernator. In OAP Racing, otherwise known as Arden, we got Skin Shaggy and Big Harry Jock. In the Campos Orange Racing team, we got Kovchi and Stocky. In the Sauber Junior Racing, we have obviously Jono and King Chris. In the Trident Chewing Gum Racing, it's Twisted and Merkabem. <laughs> In the Motorsport, M well, MP Motorsport, Rashi is officially unable to get a ticket to Bahrain. He got stuck in Qatar. Uh, his teammate is also Andrew Byrne. And the Uni Virtuosi car, which is the Renault lookalike, is Soldier Yan and Hoof Penguin got stuck in the Antarctic, so that's an also <laughs> vacant spot tonight. <laughs> to be fair, um, Hoof Penguin would have um, made it, but then he actually realised that penguins don't have fucking hooves, so it kind of went a little bit bad on him. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea who the guy is. Alright, uh, okay, so we've got Stocky then. He, Andy B actually didn't come around for his flying lap there, uh, he decided to. Uh, do a little bit of a taste, a little bit of a banker lap there on the in the MP Motorsport racing. We've got ourselves watching on Stocky in the Campos, of course. A very interesting scenario, guys. By the way, Jockey and UK Monster, welcome into the fucking chat, guys. Oh uh, yeah, interesting <laughs> one tonight. For the first time ever in RF1, we are going to see Mirkabem and Kovji going. Oh, oh dear. Uh, well, speaking of going, um, Stocky's kind of gone somewhere off towards the Antarctic to meet Hoof Penguin there. Bit of a wrong turn from the desert. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, basically Mirkabem and Kovji are not going to be teaming together, so two very, very good friends. going to be interested to see how they compete, right, isn't it? You know what I mean? So it's gonna, we've got a very, very interesting lineup here tonight. A couple of favourites we have, of course. We've got Bish, who did win the uh, feature pre-season race uh, last Saturday, of course. That was in... And well, it was, King Chris, who yeah, won the sprint. Of course it wasn't entirely simple for King Chris, though, was it? He did come through the field, had himself a very, very good little drive. Shaggy, of course, skin Shaggy. Who is now, of course, once again in the pink car. He's probably fucking sick to death of that bastard car. He's actually <laughs> he's driving it in the main series as well. But um, yeah, it's going to be an intriguing one today, right? Oh no, is he in? He's nice Ferrari with Andy B. What the fuck am I on? Yeah, bin. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave that there. Uh, right, then, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, favourites. You probably say, seeing that mate, there was a lot of battling up top, and a couple of the big gunners did crash out, didn't they? I mean, obviously we had the likes of RF1 Elite, Kovci, yeah, and Mirkovim all involved. In instance, and one minute fifty, a little bit of a side to lap there by cut by RF1 Stocky. I believe it's um, Jan coming round next. Yeah, just to say, um, the quality tyres they used today like in this session actually yeah, given us their starting tyres in the sprint, not the feature race. Is that why? Right, okay, that explains why a couple of the guys were on. I remember because Andy was on the softs, wasn't he? All the mediums, I think. Mm -hmm. That explains it. To be fair though, once we found out in the earlier sessions, all right, we did find out that we? we've got Dolby there coming round just behind Soldier. Let's have a little look at the uni car. Um, in fairness, mate, with the soft tyres, we found they died straight away. And you pointed it out, and then obviously yeah. they backed it up. That's why Andy ended up coming in quite early. I'm all about the sprint race. Nice Soldier, that's eight seconds quicker than Stocky. That's an absolute. Oh, Venom is lagging a bit there. Dolby's slower. Dolby 42.9. Dolby 42.9. Have a look at Venom's connection, mate. It looks like he's fucking. 
playing pogo on a bleeding ice rink at the moment. Not exactly ideal. Um, he seems fine for me. I believe. That is, if, is he in the? He's in the car, then, isn't he? Him and Bishop. I'm just yes. leaning my cars, guys. Forgive me. So I'm, I've already got right. more right than I did in the entirety of last stream. So well, I'm going to be 55. The the back straight on the softs. About to come around the corner. I like how the differential in the livery between the normal racing point and the F and the B Tech racing point, which basically makes it a three tech. Um, Mercedes, of course. Hashtag PMS says Skilly and evening, brother. I'm not surprised you're not racing this, brother. And Shaggy comes across the line with a nice early pace set. A one minute 42.3, 23 and a half, just over 23 and a half minutes left to go in qualifying. Um, so, right, I'm obviously talking about the Bahrain track. We both had quite mixed emotions around it in our RF1 careers, of course. Yeah, we're not going on we've about We've actually had very one. similar. No, we've actually had exactly the same emotions in our Season 1 Grand Prix because we both, like, died. I did not bounce off the wall reverse all. on track and kill you. Nope, I'm still here, just. Uh, <laughs> hey. But yeah, do you know what, right? There's so many, obviously, with the F2, in the normal F1 cars, there's a few corners that are going to get you up, catch you up. Uh, you've got obviously the one that you've just seen Elite come through there, the second to last corner, or the third mm -hmm. to last corner, I believe, isn't it? Curb of Doom, I think, has been addressed in the F1 community. Curb and obviously, you've got the, the hairpin. <laughs> yeah, freaking painful. Obviously, we've seen Mine's the of there, very of course, hard the, one. the one Shaggy's coming down to now, if you lock up, you could basically just kiss your lap time goodbye or your position. What I was going to say, though, with the um, F2 cars having that much or that less grip and obviously having to have a lot, lot more downforce in the car to kind of get what you really, really want out of them, like every single corner becomes a hazard because obviously Bahrain is a track with pretty much eight to eight temps, four fifths of the corners have killer curbs. So obviously, right in their case, what would you kind of go for? Would you go to kind of try and push off the curbs and work on your ride out or would you kind of go along the lines of just being extra cautious? Like, on this track, I wouldn't go for top speed for a straight, because it, it's going to kill you in the corners, which is where this track affects you. I'd go of course. more We've down seen this many a time. <laughs> in the corners than um, straight line speed, because you may lose a little bit of time on the straight, but you're going to be safer in the corners, someone's going to spin, you'll just get a position like that. And to be fair, we've had no real... Issue so far, have we kind of so obviously we've got a long, long way to go here. I believe it's a 16 lap uh, feature race and a 12 lap sprint race, isn't it? Coming up, so 28 mm. laps basically the equivalent of an actual 50% race here with no break between the feature and the sprint mate as well. So obviously, we're gonna have to go I for our seat breaks here. Uh, just after sector one, as you go around the little right left chicane, you run that outside rubble strip. I've actually hit that, went airborne, and next minute I'm in a wall. <laughs> All about the corner. <laughs> Hold on a minute. How come it's night time now when it wasn't last time? Change probably fucked at the time in settings, but let's carry on. Or has he done it or has he done it the right way? No, he's done it the wrong way. You've got to put it on official. Meh, yeah, it happens. Jockey says, come on, Team Pink. Well in That's Team, team OAP. Shaggy and Jockey. <laughs> team Oop. Uh, Elite comes in with a very, very nice time on the moves. Lovely, what a lovely lap Seven time. tenths quicker. Now considering mate, he had never stepped foot in these cars before the start of the week. Which that's what shit. practice does for you. <laughs> Merkabem coming around, but he's immediately followed then by Bishadino. He's going to be on his outlap though, so let's have a look at what Merkabem can do. Good lap. Fifth position, yes. 1 minute 22, 4 minute 40, 22, fucking hell. Now let's yeah. watch the uh, feature race winner Brilliant. from pre season. Bishadino. Certainly, it's Carlin Carr and Bishadino, yeah. Oh, Venom's oh, up to just gone P2. The two Carlin cars have different liveries, as you mentioned there, of course. Uh, You'll be seeing Bishadino in the red livery and blue. Um, yeah, exactly. But now we know who's in what. So Vemmons is obviously the blue and green. Uh, Bish is in the blue and the red. So early pace as Lobman and Vemmons. Vemmons did there on three lap old tyres. So Vemmons is clearly showing that you can get a lot out of the medium tyres. Obviously, yeah. the three compounds you can use here, folks, are softs and mediums and wets. But we probably, there's a um, slither um, chance of the problem or chance of Christ being re fucking born. Oh, we've got what's going on down there? Oh, it's just cars going slow. Merk of Bem, is it? Nope, there's a it's... pink car. Oh, Shaggy, what's going on there? Shaggy and who's that with him? Dolby. Uh, Dolby. I believe Shaggy was. Was he trying to let him go? Oh, he's out of fuel. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. He was trying to get out of the way of Dolby. I think Dolby went a little bit deep into coming out the corner, coming out the pits. So I um, believe, mate, we've got um, who is that in the sole car? I can't find who it is. It's Stocky in the Campos. Not quite as orange, is it, as the dots for the McLaren? That's what I mean. It's kind of a. I've just seen Shag's car, but yeah, it's like a elite. Oh <laughs> my god! 
Only, oh, I believe someone has arrived. Woman at 40.9. Um, but anyway, we still haven't seen the likes of King Chris, Jono, uh, Kofchi, and DB has not actually completed his full flying lap yet there, right? And Twisted also. So these guys, remember there is a one pit stop rule. Look at how good am I? And Bishadino comes across line the Whoa, hello. On the softer tyre, but he does claim provisional pole position. 19 minutes to go, of course. And there are four points up for grabs. So that being said, Ryan, you're going to want to start on the reds, aren't you? Red Wall tie get you the quickest time, but in the Maybe. Grand Prix, they're going to get ruined. Based on the evas kind of the temp track temperature, the actual wear of the tyres isn't the problem. It's the surface, obviously, which causes the course to overheat in that sense. Yeah, but the surface on these tyres... Which is why it doesn't overheat the core tyre, though, does it? It's literally, it actually causes more tyre wear because stocky obviously the you're under that much pressure. Oh, Stocky, let's have a look here. He's going to be doing... Oh, he's on back straight. This actually is lap. He's eight seconds up, so he's going to be looking probably somewhere around about mid 42, isn't he? He did. He did actually do a pretty, pretty slow lap time on his original run of mediums. So here comes Stocky. This could be pretty good there for Stocky. What can he do here? Stocky goes in the P4 with the 141.8, just a second off Bish, but not very, very nice little lap there for him. So here we go. Let's have a little look and roll on. We've got Dolby then. He has set himself one minute 42.9 so far. Oh, that car of Vemmons is lagging atrociously. I believe oh, uh, Vemmons and Shaggy are having a little bit of a oh, an, I know he's interesting OAP, line. But, like, there's no speed <laughs> limit for OAPs on this track. You can go. Wait, it's like they've got their own fucking bus lane, to be fair. It's like they're having a mobility scooter. What the fuck? Is, um, I, I think Vemmons is just waiting for him, I think. Oh, damn it. Oh, um. <laughs> Vemmons. God damn it. Just don't kill the fucking speedballs, whatever you do. Oh. Uh, he's going for the next one. Well, it. I was wearing my Rolex. Oh, no, okay, I wasn't wearing my Rolex then. Last completely fucked off. Well, he, he's clearly got it in for Rolex, isn't he? I'm, I'm assuming Just don't that, take um, those boards out. No, but God damn it, please don't. Some people better than me actually use breaking boards. And, well, I use breaking boards, but obviously don't use racing line. Anyway, going back up over Dolby. Dolby coming. My God, it looks like a fucking polystyrene graveyard going down here anyway. <laughs> but here comes Dolby then, what can he do? Let's have a look at Dolby and come on the final corner. A little bit of an improvement, you'd imagine, unless he's going to be going again. Uh, you can't actually see because it doesn't show the fuel mixture on these cars. Uh, Dolby doesn't look like he's going to be improving, so he's going to be going again, you'd imagine. Uh, puts himself in with a quite a bit of a, bit of a slow up, 1.1 second down, 1 minute 44.1, based on his 4 minute 42.9. Right, Stocky is back on track again, mate. Oh no, is, is he coming in? No. Oh, yeah, he is. Troll. Troll.com. Uh, <laughs> Merkabem is out of fuel, so we are literally going to go Andy over B on to that. Andy B. I believe that's in the MP team. Um, so let's have a look at what Andy could do then. Halifax Racing. Is that what it is? No, I'm taking the piss. Their outfit just looks like oh. they're half of workers. <laughs> half of that was it. I ended up saying it like a screw fix. Same it's industry, different on drop blue. roll. Yeah, I guess. yeah, that one. <laughs> that didn't say I know anything about the world. Here comes Team right, Halford. Sorry, Ryan, my, my cat's behind my head snoring. <laughs> I would say something my granddad told me, but it's probably not best to say on stream. <laughs> oh my god, I've just woke him up, bless him. Anyway, we're going back on board with Andy B. Stop playing one, with your pussy and, and concentrate on the racing. Always me out at me. <laughs> oh, hello. No, don't bite me, you twat. Right, anyway. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. Um, back to Andy. Going through sector one, mate. He's got himself purple first sector. 32.0. I'm not sure if that is an accurate purple first sector. It doesn't actually show us. It's just basically says anything me. gets a purple sector. Oh, I'm, so I'm assuming it wouldn't be then. Um, just for me, clearly. Um, so Andy becomes one. We've got um, Kovchi coming out for his first outing, mate, with just over, just under half the session. There is gone. a tip for these cars. Um, don't upshift early. You need the reds to hit the limiter to get the max out of these cars. Do you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of the 72 Lotus thing we did on Saturday, on Wednesday oh, then. Not I'm, never, I'm not driven there. these again. Oh. I am. <laughs> the went straight into the grass and gave you a podium. Mate, I, I, I got past Skiller. I would have got one anyway. But, um, yeah. Hey, Skills. <laughs> <laughs> he is in attendance tonight. But no, that was they were that was really really difficult that race. One minute fifteen point seven, so he's got to have a twenty five second final sector. I guess it can be done. So let's have a look at how good Andy's doing. Here. Let's have a look at this car. Do it reminds me of this car. It looks like a sort of like rip off version of the Manor, doesn't it? Without the blue on it. I, I, I kind of like I love that Manor design though. So the um, 
Oh, the torn area for... Oh, 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 Andy, oh, dear. Bye, Andy. Um, oh, that is not the ideal way to get around that corner. Um, so he comes across the line. He was actually... Look, oh, my God, look where he went to, mate. Even with that mistake, a woman at 41.5, he was probably on the court. It might have been Purple First Sector then. It could very well have been Purple First Sector. And who have we got going on a lap? We've got, um, I believe... Yeah, Dolby's going slow, isn't he? So, Kofji kind of tuned down. What are you going to say, right, mate, before I cut across you? I can't remember. Fuck it. <laughs> Cat's awake now. Can't believe I got distracted by my cat during a flying lap. <laughs> it's the standard way. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We've got yeah, ourselves a cheeky eight, eight view. Cheeky eight views here tonight. We've got UK Monster. We've got Nasher. We've got Dolby. We've got Bishop. We've got Jockey. And we've got a couple of guests on board as well. Thank you very much for tuning in this evening, ladies and gentlemen. You know the new pause, right? It ain't about the views. It's about it's the It's about the That's family of our F1 community. Phoenix from the ashes, mate, is the way we do it. That's our new little motto. Right, anyway, um, so here we've got Kovji, mate, who has been, I'd probably say, one of the gems that we found this pre-season, isn't it? You know, obviously, since we had the rebrand in. Kovji has proven to be, I think, himself and Merkabem. Merkabem has... Does he have more pace, would you say? He went to a 1 minute 41.3 on the medium, so he's... Bloody hell, he's beating, he's beating Loadman. I didn't even see that. Whoa, I didn't see Merkabem improve, so we're just going to go on board with Kovji. Then coming round... I mean, that's quite an underrated corner, really, isn't it? That one just before. I think probably, I think it's turn seven, isn't it? Or is it, does it count as turn eight? Hang on. That one, one, two, one before that. Three, one, two, four, four, six, eight. Yeah, it is. Six. Five, yeah, yeah. Six, seven, eight. The one by number two, basically. <laughs> it's probably yeah. got a name somewhere, but I, I, I can't pronounce Bahrainian. So, um, so we all where number one is, King that's Chris on the Sandbox. Number two's the Sand Pit. And number three's the Sand Blue. <laughs> <laughs> The fucking sand dune. <laughs> oh, Kovchi. Well, it says Kovchi's got a purple fit, purple second sector, but he's actually two oh, seconds down on Andy B's time. That's what I mean. So I don't understand how that's going to go on about it. Game's broke. They really need to sort that game out. I was about to say. Yeah, new one's <laughs> broke. Soon, don't I, worry. Oh, yeah, can't wait for that. Like, yeah, but they developed it from their own living rooms this time. What could go wrong? Uh, Kovchi so comes through, comes down the start, finish straight. At the moment, Bish, Bish is going to be topping the championship here, mate, with four points. Kovchi. A nice little cheeky one minute 42.3. Yeah, I'm assuming he's going to be going again though. He looks new to watching Formula 2. Qualifying pole sitter gets four points in the championship. Yes, I, do. I did allude so to that, didn't Formula I? Formula 1 doesn't now. do to that. No, to be fair, well, it kind of gives it a bit of an added element to kind of try a bit harder and qualifying, but as well, if you're running the kind of soft tyre, it kind of put limits, or kind of, what's the word for it? Prohibits you. In a way of limits you know, to what you can actually push the car to. Yeah, in the, in the sprint race. Yeah, in the sprint race, obviously, because you're gonna but have also, to bleed um, in work than tyres. Formula One only gets one bit of, uh, extra point for fastest lap. Formula Two gets two. Of course, yeah, but that's why we we noticed that in the last week, didn't we? Um, we're learning. Well, I think Ryan, you anyway, but I'm, I'm learning. Twisted by the way, watching 41. on the back of um, Kovchi's car when he accelerated out the corner, his exhaust let fire out. Mate, I, I think we need to kind of investigate this, matey. That's uh, <laughs> not the most ideal thing in the world. If he blows King up, I've nothing involved. King Chris has gone first. Oh, no, he hasn't. He, look, yeah, third, that was weird. He said 1 minute 38 when he was about to cross the line, then glitched to a 1 minute 40.0. Well, he is in fucking New Zealand. Yeah, I was about to say, probably. He's like 11 Venom's hours in front of us, round. basically, so. <laughs> New Venice is the next guy. In fact, mate, I'm going to go on board with Kovchi, see what he's doing. Oh, no, he's, is he going quick? No. Looks like he is. Yeah, I'm going to go and grab him. I have these ones, I'm going to go in there. All right, here comes Kovchi, final corner. Which is technically two corners, isn't it? If you're going to look at it, really, because there is a kink. Well, it's not a corner, then. It's a fucking kink. Yeah, Russia is. Um, Vemmons, then we're going to go on board. Vemmons has had a bit of lag here. Hopefully that sorts itself out. And you just fall off. There we go, Cap. Bevins then crossed the line and puts himself about oh. three seconds down his own time. The, 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 the overhype. <laughs> uh, mate, here we go. Twisted is going a bit quicker, so a couple of times of course, to beat Loman. So Dolby's just starting his mumble with Twisted. I believe we also have Stocky coming around as well. Stocky, um... It's quite tricky, this. Oh, Bishop's in the chat. Yeah, I did fuck my lap, to be honest. So... Bish, you, you're looking pretty good here, matey. Will he become the first person to win this? And here comes Twisted, and he goes fifth. Good last sector, gained three tenths on his previous time there, right? So Elite's the trading car is doing pretty well so far. Um, we've got Elite on Outlap, who we've got coming round. I believe that is a 
And Stocky moves up. He does move up. What about it? 41.4. So we're starting to see some quicker times coming in with nine minutes of the session left. Your man's going to go for a quick smoke in a minute, right? Just obviously while we have the time oh to, Oh my guess. god, Dolby's just gone to the next country. Oh, where is where is Dolby? Um, oh, he's still there. He's, he's still motoring. King Chris comes across the line. He's going to be pushing again for a third lap, you'd imagine. And here's my cat again. Hello. Um, so we've got Jan coming around then. In the Virtuosi team. Jan coming across the line. He's miles slowest. Oh, that was a bit. He is going to be going around again. Hope to see. Hope to see what happens. Bishop, to be fair, you are. You've had yourself a good little run so far, matey. Especially in pre-season. You know, very keep it up, mate. You might be able to bag yourself a nice one. So elites on an outlap. So we've got the. Uh, I don't know. Is Vemis going again? Oh, yes. Vemis is seven temps up right. We could be seeing a potential pole challenger here. Even though there are a couple of quick guys coming around. Elite. Remember, set his lap on mediums, getting a one minute forty point nine. Elite, also known as Kiba. Who the fuck is TSRC Sabs? Who the fuck are you? Uh, <laughs> it's coming across the line. And goes P6. One minute 41.3. Oh, we've got, I believe, that's Dolby coming around. Yeah, oh, good. That, that's invalidated. Beyond invalidated. Um, we've got Andy B also. He's coming into the pits with no fuel. Uh, next one coming around, I believe, after that is Twisted. He's also coming into the pits. Uh, Kovchi is out on track. It is, mate. It's Elite. Let's get on board with Elite. So, is it Elite, actually? I don't know. There's another car up there. Just oh, it's King Chris. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I'm going to go to watch the lap by Elite and then going to go for a quick smoke. Um, so, we have, ladies and gentlemen, got just under eight minutes left of this qualifying session, obviously out of the 30-minute quality that it actually is in, in total. And then we have ourselves a 16-lap feature race where you have to do one pit stop. I believe it's mandatory. All right, you do get disqualified, don't you, if I'm correct? You get disqualified on the second or the final lap if you don't fulfill your pit stop. And also then we do have to have our sprint race right afterwards. So make sure, obviously, if everybody's watching, do not go off for your fag break or your piss break after between this feature and the sprint because it goes straight in. We don't want you missing out. Elite coming around then. This is he's three attempts up and stuff, but he's invalidated, right? Elite's invalidated. He's not on mine. Still going. Come up as red. Come chair. Uh, go full track map. Go mini map and full track. He's come up as invalidated. Nah, my track's grey. Why the fuck is it? Come on, right, okay, we'll have a look. He still looks like he's still pushing. Bleeding broken biscuit game. Uh, Bish is retired in the pits. He thinks he's done enough. Surprise, but he's still got six minutes to go. Well, it was invalidated. He didn't move up. One minute. For Bloody hell. Um, Vemons is. Vemons! Oh my. What? Where's that come from? Uh, Bish is. What a fucking lap! Oh. Yeah, but Bish is. He's retired in the pits, mate, I think. Yeah, he's pulled it in the pits. Which is. Surprising, really. There's still a long time to go, to be fair. Unless, right, he's saving a set of tyres for the race. That might be what he's doing. In fact, I'd imagine that John is what is he's the doing. Uh, Jock's the next car. Yeah, hey, Jock is literally the next one going, isn't he? Unless it's Elite. Is Elite going again? I'll sit on board with Elite, right? Just to, just to see if he's actually going one more time here. Shaggy then, of course. Yeah, there you go, mate. Bish has just said he's saving his tyres. There you go. Just seeing the chat now. Uh, nine viewers are up to, right? So here comes Elite then, coming back round. Elite has been... An, mate, another one of these guys. Races in VRL, doesn't he? Formerly, well, alternatively known as Kizo Elite, if that's the guy, same guy I'm thinking of. Another top, top driver in RF1. Had himself a little bit of an incident with Skartrix, didn't he, at the British Grand Prix on Monday. But other than that, it's been an absolutely stellar pre-season for him so far. And what I would probably happily say, mate, one of the favourites for Monday League, which... Even though it's sort mm. of classified as, but it's not really classified as Division 1, it's probably got the most, the, the quickest drivers in, isn't it? If you look across the board from top to bottom. Oh, mate, Elite is flying. He's half a second up. And his fuel that hasn't come on. This looks like it's absolutely going to happen, doesn't it? At the moment, we've got a car in 1 2, but that looks like it is. Well, it may be interrupted. Let's have a look here. Elite coming through. I believe he's in the ART, right? Isn't he, if I'm correct? Mm -hmm. Coming across the line, Elite. And goes, oh, ooh, just a bit quicker. Nine, just under one tenth of a second faster, but that is just the tenth that you need. ART um, currently on provisional pole position. What the hell? Oh, um, is just gone. Uh, Stocky, the, the, the track, this isn't the old layout, mate. In fairness, I think he's going to, if I was him, I'd just, yeah, get, get moving now. Yeah, get yourself going, buddy. That's not a really, really perfect line there by Stocky. I think he needs to work on his cornering a little bit there. Uh, Kovchi, mate, has come out on two lap old mediums. So he's come back out on used tyres and he has invalidated. This could be a big mistake by Kovchi, currently outside the top 10. And not like a lot of guys who are... 
Uh, we've got a Merc. Speaking of Merc, Emmy's coming around. Um, we've got the. Da, 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 da. This van is getting out of the way there. We've got two cars very close to each other. That is, I believe. Well, yeah, it is Jono, isn't it? So, yeah, we're on board with Jono, who has the Campos car. I believe Stocky just had to. Oh, I think Stocky just following him, isn't he? After he made that kind of. Bit of a wild next. line going into turn 9 and 10. Jono on board with him. What can Jono do then in Alpha Junior? I'm going to cross yeah, the line. It's like the Alpha Livery anyway. It's actually called Sauber Junior, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised by that, really. So, the, oh, right, have they, have they not kind of got the um, Alpha name on it then? Kovci dives yeah. into the pit stream, it's 58 to go. That is a real surprise. I thought um, Alpha would probably take to, take a real good look at that, to be fair. Jono did a bit of a taste lap there, one... 1 minute 44.5. I believe we've got the um, the dams car of a load. Fuck, right, I'm on fire tonight. I'm on, I'm not, I've not even got any, I'm not even got a cheat code in front of me and I'm getting all the team names right. <laughs> oh, right, anyway, so we've got Dolby coming around then. He's on an outlap, so I think mate, John the is still the first one. Is Merkabem the quickest? Yeah, he's the furthest one. We're going to go up to Merkabem now. Currently P8. I expect him to climb up the ranks. I don't, he didn't get pole last week though. So I remember we still got Jockey to come around as well. Jockey currently on a 1 minute 41 0, 1 thousandth of a second, by the way. Separate and Andy B and Jono, 5 and 6. Between the MP and the Arden team, or the. Oh, is it Arden? It is Arden. I'm still going. I'm still on it. Fuck, I need to retire, man, seriously. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. I was right. BWT Arden. Sorry, I was just checking. <laughs> I was just checking if I got the theme right. Here we go then. So here comes Merkab in, in the Trident. Coming down the start finish straight here. Mirka Bem as he's three steps down, right? Jockey comes into the bit, so these guys are coming in for one last. Oh, oh dear, Jockey, the speed limit.com. Um, right, so Jono currently last with a 1 minute 44.5. He will not be happy with that. Jono prides himself in knowing quite a bit about the F2 cars. Two seconds up. So here we go. Yeah, he's fine. He's going to be easily, easily top 10 meter. Well, is he going to be top 10 meter? He's going to have to have an belt in the last sector. And Jono pulls it in, and he goes seventh. That's not a bad lap by Jono. 1 minute 41.2. And immediately following him behind Maybe was one. Stocky, who's going to be going again. Loadman there coming round in the dams car, coming round the final corner. Oh, this is Williams racing. You wouldn't you would have thought Williams had the best F2 car, considering it's got the worst fucking F1 car. But anyway, moving on. Here comes the Loadman flying down the back straight then, or the main straight. So he goes P3. Three tenths of a second off our F1 Elite jockey, as said, he's had enough. Jan... It's coming now down to start his final flying lap, you can imagine there, I right? And we've got the other uh, Dams car of Dolby, who is going quite a bit quicker. He, we may see him usurp Skin Chuggy here from P14. Will Dolby get himself off the bottom spot? He nearly does. He's only two tenths of a second down on Shea. Great lap for Dolby. He'll be quite impressed with himself getting as close as he can to the pack in front of him. Merkabem is not performing as well as he has to, but mate, he's nine tenths up. Oh boy. And he's run wide. Is that lap going to count? It does, it does. Vemmons is currently lagging back and forth like an absolute beast. Um, we need to kind of look into that, right? If he lags too much, mate, make sure you drop he's the rest. I'm not sure if he's watching. He's bouncing all over on mine. He was a minute ago. Mirka Bevett, this could be your pole lap. It looks very, very quick. It's only fourth. It's purple second sector. Felt, it was a genuine purple second sector. I watched on board, but it was nine temps up at a 41.3. And he's not got the job done. We've got the Campos car of Kovci. He's coming around. I believe that's Jono. Is he? Yeah, Jono's coming to the pits, I think. You'd imagine. No, he's, he's going for it. He's going for his lap. But Jono, this is a big improvement, actually, by Jono. 41.1. Moves up to third. 40.4. 40, 40 Jono using the absolute last of his thing there. Who's behind? Dolby now. Dolby gets firmly out of the way, does he? Dolby, there's a car behind you. Good stuff there, Dolby. Great awareness there, brother. I believe that was the car of Elite. Elite's gone back out, by the way. Elite's thinking he's not safe on pole position at the moment there, right? So here we go then. Vemmons. Oh, oh dip, yeah, we'll, we'll ignore that lag and we'll move swiftly on to the next car. <laughs> uh, right, so we got the trend of Merkabem. He's going to be coming around here. I think Merkabem's well, Merkabem's done, mate. He has pushed as hard as he can. Vemmons is going... Uh, stop. What the living... So that there, ladies and gentlemen, is... Well, I say qualifying over. It's not quite over yet, is it? Because we've got a couple of cars still coming around. Merkabem is pretty much done on his lap. The next one coming around is the Campos of Kovci, who is on a flying lap, may I add. 
So can he improve Kov He'd be very, very disappointed with being down in 13th position. Speaking of that, I mean, Stocky would think he'd be disappointed being all the way down there too. Stocky didn't get himself a lap on the soft tyre, but that, of course, means all right, he will be starting. He's the... Oh, no, no. Wait, actually, wait, the best. Is it top 10, by the way, that start on their other tyres or is it the whole field in the sprint race? How's it work over there? Because I know points are only top eight. But we are on board with Kovci. Kovci, remember, got himself that magical pole position when he was the only car that went out on dries in the Hungarian Grand Prix. Hungarian Grand Prix pre-season. Kovci, what can he do? And it's only 10th, man. Not so ideal Jan's for him, Vemmons. Uh, Jan, is he doing anything decent with it? He's a 10th up. One tenth up here, Arch, but he will come potentially into the top 10 if he has a similar sort of lap time. Remember, Elite is on a lap as well, so Elite is not guaranteed that first position yet. We should, Jan, never know, Jan may have an absolute bottle rocket of a lap here. Vemmons is just in front of him as well. Vemmons comes into the pits, he's like 11 seconds down. Jan comes into the... Jesus Christ, my catch has jumped at me. Um, elite come round, and Elite is going. He just fucking dived at me. Fucking hell, dickhead. And I think Elite is coasting, matey. He knows he's got pole position. Grab a pack of dreamies out there, though. We'll get the treat shaken for him. And that there, right, is qualifying done. Elite comes into the pits. John, I hope car number he's four gets four points. He certainly does, mate. Elite's there. Of course, as Ryan, you mentioned last week, mate. The <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you mentioned last week, of course, how the car numbers are different from F1. They don't actually get to pick their own numbers, do they? Nope. And also, oh, each race, only the top eight get goal. points, but on the sprint, it is the top ten. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Ah, that, I, I guess that makes sense with the whole kind of top eight and That's one swapping. That's over the tables. Just to, make, just to make sure you grab the screenshots, like, obviously, we it's myself and you stewarding, so God fucking help us. <laughs> Many of you crash, I'm going to come to your door and go, why did you crash? It's not, it's not like you can answer your door to us anywhere under the current climate, is it? But um, That's why I made the joke. What's that you got? Where did you get biscuits? Oh, yeah. You I know about biscuits! Yeah, so do I, alcohol. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get this uh, top of, top 10 done, mate. I believe we have just got Wayne there in the thing. One question, um, you don't start on them tyres, Wayne, you start on them, if, right, if I'm correct, you start on them, I'm going to grab that screenshot quick myself. No, I'm not, because I've got no space on my fucking Xbox. You start on them in the sprint race, Why am I correct? Or do we not oh. know? <laughs> so uh, we've got so, Elite, got yeah. pole position. <laughs> Four points. Nice, mate, we've got Vemmons, Jono, Loman, Merkabem, Bishadino, King Chris, Andy B, Jockey, Kovchi. Twisted, Soldier and Stocky, Skin Shaggy, and of course Mr. Dolby around the field, mate. I'm going to go for a quick fag, back in two. As you guys can see there, quality is over, even though we've alliterated it quite a bit of time. Um, as we said, obviously in Formula 1 you don't get any points for the qualifying whatsoever. Uh, Formula 2, obviously you do, as you can see there, um, RF1 Elite will be classified as top of the standings as of now but going into the race as you can see it's daylight as in real time in the real world formula 2's feature race is just before qualifying for formula 1 so they go in like the dusk into evening that's why you can see the floodlights on but it's still obviously sun out that's why people who will be picking tyres start their feature race to pick any compound they want and obviously the grid goes like this elite on pole venoms in second johnny third loadman fourth murka ben fifth sixth we got bishadinio chris in seventh andrew burnham in eighth jock in ninth kobchi tenth twisted eleventh soldier yan twelfth stocky thirteenth shaggy fourteenth and dolby fifteenth that is the grid order. Obviously, five minutes until lights out. And with Formula 2, obviously the race results of the feature race of the top eight gets flipped for the grid on the sprint. So obviously, eight starts first, second, seventh, sixth, third, fourth, fifth. Obviously, just as that.
So guys, predictions in the chat. Who's going to win the first Bahrain race? Not Bahrain. The, the first Formula 2 Saturday feature race of the season around Bahrain. Who do you think is going to get the top three? We'll see the pre-season race last week. The feature race winner, Bishop Dino, is starting down in sixth. He didn't want to ruin his tyres for the sprint, which is a smart idea. Obviously, you do have to pit in this race. And also, the sprint race winner is starting right behind him, King Chris, who only just beat Shaggy to the win on the last lap last week. And that was a brilliant pre-season race last week in Bahrain in the desert. Two incidents, cars flinging off left, right and centre. It was spectacular, can we say. I haven't actually seen a safety car though in Formula 2. Not yet. What is happening, people? Your man is back. Right, then, here we go. I'll so give you an update, Paz. Um, I'll give an update, give a run of what happens with the grid from 1st to 8th after the feature race and what happened last week. Yep. The winners from last week and why it's daylight and not night time for the feature and sprint races. Mate, this is exactly the right thing to do there, brother. Um, so, of course, we have our sure. right guys. Just going to re that again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> yeah, you. Go for it, mate. Let's have a look at some of the comments here, guys. Um, so W saying Elite's going to win. I'm guessing you asked who was one. Uh, yeah. Skilling says for, for safety car three is a lap. No, no we've got, we got one person I'm on the sorry, podium. Just before I go Skilling, the only person I could cause a safety car in this series was you. You got lapped both races. Hey, he, we both know he doesn't like Bahrain enough to. Go on, go and have a shit. Go on, fuck off. <laughs> 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 so here we go. We've got PTR then um, in the chat. Hashtag RF1. Yes, boy. Using that 100 points. Of which I don't know what the fuck they mean still. Um, but thank you for highlighting my message. Um, yeah, legend, my man. Um, oh, and we are going, so Twisted Hard's ready up. So Ryan, of course, has chosen the absolute optimum moment to have a shit, as is the way. Um, <laughs> I see a man's been laid up in bed all day, um, ill, but you don't fucking miss a string. That's how we do, unless I'm, like, cut it off, but no, we're good. Right then, so here we go then. We are at the start of... <clears throat> What's going to be an absolute fascinating Grand Prix? Hopefully, it's not absolute death and destruction because I've got to, I've got to steward this man. <laughs> I've been well. Come on, guys, give me some fucking easy times. So we are going now, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go to the grid now, and over from the pit lane, King Chris just waiting for him to get going and twisted. Here we go then. So we are on the grid for what I hope is a fucking formation lap. It is. So let's go and get the telemetry up, guys. Which is one, two, three, four. There we go. We know they're all on the soft tires. Oh, Vemmons is lagging. Oh, Vemmons, you're lagging like fuck. Oh dear. Oh, I hope you don't, don't have to get pulled, man. Please, God. Oh, Vemmons, that's awful. Oh, oh dear. Oh, Jono, that, that's not the best line and best way to go through there. Um, we've got, um, you come on saying good luck. Um, <laughs> what's that new hashtag? At least I don't rage quit and cry. Hashtag sneaky did it again. <laughs> oh, and that's, um, I believe, the car of Elite there, the ART, the only one in this Grand Prix, of course. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today, our first outing with the F2 Series. Absolutely buzzing for this one after the sprint race we did. I'm going to have to try and keep my heart rate a bit lower. Um, <laughs> so here we go, Vemmons. We need, I hope his car doesn't lag too much, otherwise we all have to pull, but hopefully we don't have to be in that situation. So nobody's done a pause and flown off the track on the formation lap, that's a... So that's a plus point, I guess. I mean, I've spun three, six times in two formation laps I've done in non-F1 cars, so... Right. Ooh, that bit was absolutely necessary. Forgive me, guys. Keep myself very hydrated. Been ill all day, so hopefully that goes by tomorrow. If not, then... Cause a bit more concern. Ooh, cough -gee. No, Okay, so we've got ourselves Twisted, Soldier Yam. We've got Stocky, Shaggy, and of course, Dolby in the dams car, bringing up the rear. The other dams car of Loman up there in P4. Going to be an exciting Grand Prix then. 
Yeah, Vemmons, you, you need to watch out here, mate. You're lagging awfully, mate. I know you're watching. If you're lagging the race, bro, just obviously you know what to do. Just probably say leave potentially. Oh, God, you're lagging everywhere, man. Jesus Christ. I hope it settles down. Your, your lag hasn't always been this bad, Vemmy. I don't know what's going on. Just, um... Obviously, we don't want to have to pull cars out of a Grand Prix, but... Oh, uh, you come on... Yeah, don't worry, mate. Uh, by the way, Mons... Uh, oh, that was you saying... Um, <clears throat> yeah, that. I'm not going to repeat it, but... Yeah, man, I do one of them posts every week anyway, so don't worry about it. I've been, I've been, like, I've been on my period for about eight years. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> right, then we are on the grid. For the start of the F2 series. A very bold, brave series we've done here. And Dolby is the final car. Oh, dear, that that, that is car porn. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, Twister getting right up stocky there. Oh, my God. Jesus, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, right. <laughs> Here we go, then. Ladies and gentlemen. Bemmons' car is doing some form of weird Shakira move on the grid, but we've got three, four. We've got five red lights. And the F2 series in RF1 is a go, go, fucking go. And Bemmons has go, go, gone with an NX on his name. I'm not sure if that says actual start, because that is absolutely phenomenal if it is. And we're just going to go and flick down the order. And oh, we're going three wide around the first corner. That never usually ends in delight and roses and unicorns. Um, so we've got the Campos car there of Stocky. He's fallen to the back. So I believe Vem Oh, oh dear. Vemmons, Vemmons, what the hell? Vemmons, I think you might have to back out here, buddy. You've just gone from first to tenth. Vemmons, seriously. Oh, Jesus. Vemmons, 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 you're going to cause issues here, mate. Come on. Oh, there's a car gone off. John has gone round. I didn't see if there was an insert up there. I was on board with Vemmons. And Elite's gone absolutely mad haywire. And oh, uh, that's Mick. I'm having a bit of an unusual excursion across the track. And Vemmons is... What, what the... What in the living? Oh, please. Jesus Christ, my mother makes more sense than that. Uh, John come round. And Vemmons... Oh, Jesus, motherfucker. Um, so Logan chases down Elite, of course. These two both in the Monday League. <laughs> Hashtag pause on. Oh, we've got a lot of cars all the way down there. Jockey's made it all the way up to fourth position from that start. Kofji and Merkabem, these two absolute, pretty much, pretty much best Xbox mateys, if not in real life, have actually found themselves battling in opposite teams. So the Campos and the Trident, Kofji gets the better of that exchange. He moves up in the seventh position. Merkabem down to eighth. Skin Shaggy then. I don't know where the fuck Rise off to. Um, right, okay, so um, we've got Lobeman here. P2. And them two have kind of taken off already. We've got the King Chris, who's made up four places. Jockey made up five. The pair of them just basically both took off from the right-hand side of the clean side of the grid. And have made it work. Them is all the way down in 14th. That's when you know the lag doesn't really make much of an issue. We've got Jockey and Bishadino. These two had a monumental battle in the, in the... I believe it was in the sprint race, wasn't it? Before Bish ended up kind of driving off towards... Somewhere towards Qatar. Um, amazingly. We are now entering lap two of 16. 15 more laps to go on this one. I believe I just saw a lagging car there. What in the world is going on? Oh, it's King Chris. Oh, Jockey's kind of overshot the corner. We're going to go on board with Bish in a minute. Bish, we're going to get a good camera angle. Jockey on the outside. Bish has gone around the outside and he's run off the track, but he did get the move done. Bish moves up in a fourth position and he is still sub Look at this. Andy B. We're going to go three wide towards turn four. Andy has done the fucking pair of them as he managed to hold the move. He has held the move. And oh, Jockey comes across the line of Bish there. Oh, Jesus Christ, that could have been murder. Andy B. Just did a double overtake into turn four. Shit. These guys are still madness. Uh, Vemmons, oh, we've got Twisted and Soldier Jan. They're side by side. They're literally side by side. Jan's going to go on the outside of Twisted here and does it. He keeps P11. Twisted back down P12. Oh, oh Stocky! Oh, God, that's Stocky's a dive bomb. Him. Oh, oh. Whoa, and Vemmons decided to lag into the mix. Um, oh, what, what the... Andy? How the hell's he ended up there? He was in P fucking three. P4, sorry. Chris, is that for he was on the other side. Mate, no, Chris was there anyway, mate. Um, you missed a, probably the best move of the race. Andy B, by the looks of things, has spun and driven through the wall, which is somewhat of a non-ideal situation. Um, <laughs> Dolby has made it up to P8. Great stuff by Dolby. He's made himself into the top eight. Remember, top eight score points here, so that eighth position is going to get fought and fraught over heavily. Stocky, do you know what, mate? I wouldn't call it dirty move. I just think late on the brakes, mate, obviously, with F F2 cars. Oh, well, look at this right behind. Jono is literally, literally pushing Twisted. Oh, Jesus, nearly pushing him right round there. And we've got King Chris here currently in P3. Bemmons is what, still... Oh, King Chris has a red X on his name. Uh, Spam, mate. Hit the side of, I'm not sure if he got hit or he hit the side of a car, ended up spinning right round. And who's it? What the hell? Vemmons is. 
I think Vemmers needs to back out, mate. I think the, the lobby's just gone to fuck. He's, he's look, all the positions are all over the place here. I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, but here we go, just on board then we know that there is a battle on track. It's Jono, and it is twisted. Jono's having a look up the inside here. Vemmers still with a red X over his name. And Jono has made a very, very nice clean manoeuvre, non-DRS assisted, on RRF1 Twisted. Rhyming without being a poetic genius. Up in <laughs> and that is uh, Jono, this up is in P12, making in. his way back at the field. These two have been battling the entire race so far. I've got to say, Andy B, I don't know how he's managed to spin there. And uh, this is Stocky, what was that? Not the ideal thing. I think Stocky's still overhyped about winning the competition. Um, as of Dibonet, oh, and the Campos car of Kovci and Merkabem. Look at this, mate. Four cars, line of steering, and the top two. Best friends. I mean, it says on my screen. Oh, certainly is, mate. I tell you what, King Chris probably is one minute 44.7 behind Jay Loden. The top two really have escaped then <laughs> in this Grand Prix. But they have escaped in general anyway. Um, Elite and Loden are literally in their own planet at the moment. I think, it may, right, if this continues, we're going to have ourselves one fascinating championship battle between these two. And then the rest of the guys are going to fill in. Remember, we do have oh, a pit stop Oh, Jockey's ran wide, and that's going to give Kovci the absolute perfect momentum to go up the inside. I think Murkabem's going to get him as well. Jockey very... I think Jockey's let him go. Um... Not a bad little move there. Maybe the old Lobby's um, broke. Um, yeah, um, to be fair, I'm just actually ignoring um, the gap between P3 and P2 at the moment there, UK Monster. I've got to be fair, Jamati, aka Viral Hammy. I'm just ignoring that fact that there is a whole multiverse Benham's between second hands. and third position. But yeah, I'm looking at something different here, mate. The top two in a battle. Loadman, DRS assisted, Elite is comes across on him very, very fairly. Loman, will he be able to slow it down? Elite's still got the outside, which of course will give him more momentum, but then Loman's going, oh, Elite, oh, he lost the back end, which means Elite is there, and that is good. King Chris is currently P3. Um, I, this gap is just all over the place. Ignore it, guys. King Chris is actually genuinely running P3 at the moment. Kovci and Merkabem. Kovci kept the gap to Merkabem. He's managed to hold them oh, back there. Jockey in P7. Uh, Vemmons is lagging ridiculous at the moment. Shaggy down in P12 at the moment. Remember, Shaggy did come P8. Last season, yeah, Stocky pitted. He, he had a, he had a, well, I'd call it a late breaking dive bomb move. Um, I think, just, I, like I said, I don't, it, it's not intentional, mate, you know what I mean? We haven't got an F1 destroyer in the fucking lobby. Um, right, anyway, um, oh, shout out for the idiot. Uh, right, okay, so we've got King, <laughs> he could be a good driver, he just backed like an idiot a couple of times. Mate, P8 Dolby is having himself a very, very oh, good driving, mate, Mc from last on the grid. Oh, Mc what happened? Back of Kovci, I just missed that. The MP. I think I may have been before. Merkabem has no luck in these races, does he? He was fighting for the lead in the previous race, and I believe he hit Bish, didn't he, in the previous race. Loman for the win, says Skillian. Loman did have the bit between his teeth. He's not quite got a second up. Over a look at that train of cars back there, mate. It's not really a train, but they're all together. What a great oh screenshot God. that Bish was. Oh, look at Shaggy. Shaggy. Shaggy on Jock. Shaggy on Jono. Shaggy's going on the outside of Jono. Oh, no, he's not big to be able to get that move. And Jono does very well. Shaggy just manages to hold the car. And that's going to make him susceptible. You did mention Bishop. Bishop's, Bishop's got past King Chris. Mm, is he anywhere near him or was that lag? Was that lag or...? No, on my screen, Bish was the chief. Oh, Chris. Okay, so a bit of lag there involved. Like I said, guys, Chris is in Australia and Vemmons is currently racing from the um, the moon uh, Celeste, um, which is quite a few <laughs> a few million miles away, so you have to forgive his connection. Uh, Stocky then. And Chris is fought. What the...? What? He's back. Jono's coming, Jono's coming to the pits. He's got a five-second penalty. Oh, Jono, Jono, Jono. That ideal. Let's go on to tyres and see. Yep, Stocky going to the end of the Grand Prix. He's a way behind, isn't he, at the moment? But remember, there is a lot that can happen. Vemmons and Dolby. <laughs> Yam, by the way, got Vemmons there, by the way. Andy B just on the back of Twisted. Mate, this race has been affected by, like, but still really, really good battling so far. Forgive the kind of connectivity. You should remember the new game, I believe. The, I reckon it's because the new game, mate, to be fair. Obviously, they've announced that they're going to start reopening some servers. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say give up, but they're kind of like putting more of a kind of out and out focus on the next game, which is, of course, what they usually do. I mean, I guess it's their it right to do so, mate, yeah. but it is every sort of time we get to like a March, April, Ooh, even when, like, you know, the game. Chris who, is who's gone. what? Who's where? Who's what? Where, where is he? No, there he is. He's in P5. He's in P4. This is awful. And Merkabem and Kovci. Oh, this one's looking tasty. Merkabem with DRS on King Chris. Is that actually King Chris? We don't actually know. <laughs> Chris holds his line. Oh, I've got a funny feeling. Nobody can see King Chris. Chris is 13th on mine. Mate, no, he's falling down 10th. Nobody can see his car, can they look? He's just been hit three times. Oh, such a shame for Chris. Jesus, man. He did say he had to take the Wi-Fi. 
And Lowman makes another pit stop. He's going to be running 11 laps. He's got, oh, a new, he's got. Oh shit! No, oh, oh, look at Jockey. It's not the seventh. Oh, here he goes. Uh, here, look, where do you do you look at this. I was about to say, look at this. Mirkabem comes into the pits. He's going to. He's going to shed that wing. You'd imagine, which is going to leave Kovji no set for the job. But they've both got DRS. Mate, it's no that time, isn't it? Lap five or six. Lowman did pit, and he's actually coming out the pits now. Apparently, Chris is winning. Team LB. What? Oh, but we'll ignore that. We'll just focus on the on-track action. That's that's atrocious. Oh, Ducky, round the outside of Kovji. He uh, will he have to get that back. I believe he. Yeah, he does, mate. He's have to get relinquish the position back. <laughs> What's up, you? What's up, you Australian hyena? I've not been called that before, um, Maka, but I'll be fair, mate. Cheers, bro. <laughs> um, right, Dolby, mate, currently having a good little drive in P6. Vemmons has got past him. I'm almost happy to see Vemmons and all kind of further back. You know what I mean? King Chris actually did let all the cars go. Andy B is following Merkabem out the pits. That's how far back Merkabem dropped down, by the way. Shaggy then in the pits, and you see here Twisted pitting as well. Stocky's going to be right out with Twisted. So the top eight mate at the moment, Loman has actually come out in eighth place, which is, of course, already one point at the moment. <laughs> Nasha says, that's the Chris connection I love to see. You, th For those of you who are old, old, old viewers and old league racers, aka Steel and Kaninch with me, if you ever do watch this, then you know what Nash is on about. <laughs> when we used to have seven King Chris's racing in one go and you used to have to overtake all seven to get come in tenth. Um, right, Vemont and King, King, what the hell? What is going on? Mate, I, I really don't know. I, I not really got many words for this right now, to be fair. And Chris is in fourth again. Okay, Jockey chasing down Kovji. Uh, that's the battle for second place. Elite in the pits. Now then, Rai, this is the big one. Elite versus Loadman. Loadman has come out in an absolute mad amount of fresh air, isn't he? Fresh track. Oh, and Jockey then, he's going to be... Oh, Jockey, they both slow down nicely. Oh, a bit of a dink there by Jock. That's not going to cause any issues. Oh my god, Vemmons are just trying to overtake Jan coming into the pits. It's a rather intriguing way to do it. Um, so everybody now has completed a pit stop other than King Chris. At least we know where he is now on track. Um, Elite and Lowman, Elite and Lowman. I think Lowman's going to get him. Or is he? Or is Lowman going to get him? It's going to be... Right, look at this. It's going to be close. They're going to be side by side. Come out the pits. Elite. Lowman's going to have the momentum if you could just... But Elite's going to hang it on the inside. Lowman's going to try and go on the outside. And Elite has got the overcut. Elite gets the overcut. Lowman down to P2. He must have made a mistake on his lap at some point. Or Elite has just absolutely battered the bollocks off that. But now Lowman's got DRS on Elite. We're going to focus here on the battle. What is going to be the battle for first position? Lowman has the bit between his teeth, but he can't right allow Elite to get his tyres up to full temperature. Otherwise, he's going to be in for an absolute monumental battle. Jockey's just in the pits. He's come out in 12th position. And Kovji oh, is... What the hell's happening, Jockey? Oh, look at these two. God, absolutely side by side. Battling all the way. And here we go. Let's have a look at Jockey with three second penalty. I'm assuming that's coming out of the pits. Yes, it is. Look at this, mate. Here we go. The top two are absolutely nose to tail. Well, not even that, because they're out with nose to tail. Loman. Oh, hello. We're going to get on board with TV Pod Elite currently. You see that famous red bar. I believe that's because of the actual state of the lobby. Kovji's been overtaken by Jono. And Kovji is all the way over there. That's not the track. I wonder what's happened there. I think Kovji and Jono may have had a bit of a collision. Kovji. Back on. Oh, Jesus. Kovji. Got to watch out when you rejoin the track. Jockey's nearly just absolutely upended the Russian Russian superstar. I think he's Russian. At least I think he's got Russian flags. So I'm assuming so. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Elite then and Loban. King Chris is assuming going to be coming to pits. Mate, Chris's connection seems to have sorted itself out. If that actually is Chris, we, we, we don't know. We're still trying to um, get get an update from Australian fucking satellite feed. If that is actually King Chris himself. Oh, we always actually... We... Right, look at Chris's car on my screen. Oh, God. This is in the pits, but he's currently on track. Wait, wait, uh, what the? Uh, sorry, guys. We will get back to the action very shortly. We have got technical difficulties here. Chris is currently he's in the driving pits. somewhere <laughs> different. On my screen, he's not. He's currently driving through some some trees, which is very rare to see in Bahrain. Oh, we got Chris can't come out of the pits. Oh, and he's just done Jono. Okay, all right, not a problem. Um, that's random, if anything. Mirka Bem on Andy B. I think Mirka Bem's done him. And Jockey and Kovji. Jockey's done Kovji. Kovji has got major wing damage, of course, having that incident with Jono before. 
uh, Kovchi down to 12th position. It'll be very unfortunate there. And the top two, look at the top two, all over each other. Loman round the outside, but Elite holds the inside, going into the very, very tricky turn 10. Here comes Elite, then Loman, Elite runs a little bit wide. He avoids the curb. Great line there by Elite, but the two of them are still side by side. Jan has just got King Chris. I'm not going to follow that because I don't know where Chris is on track. We know exactly where these two are on track. Elite goes into the slipstream and Loadman, of course, moving up to P1. That, of course, I believe, right, if I'm correct, is the full 25 points, mate, or 15. I'm not sure if it, which one it is. We'll okay, confirm that later on. Are. We'll confirm it later. I've come up to half race distance. These two have been absolutely kicking the crap out of each other. And Soldier Jan, then, just going to go back here. Look at this, mate, three wide. Three wide between two guys who we don't know where they are and Soldier Jan. So Jan's probably thinking he's in the fucking Matrix right now. <laughs> Vemmons oh. moves up to P5. Oh, he's on the upside. Great stuff there. Hanging it round. Vemmers and King Chris. Chris falls to seventh place. We're going to go back up to the top because these two are literally all over each other. Elite then. Fucking I might have been ill all day. Fuck, I might end up fucking keeling over at this rate. Bish is currently running in a very, very steady P3, by the way. Um, fastest lap at the moment currently lies with Loadman. So he'll be getting the extra two oh, points. Oh, she got damage. Also, Elite just takes Loadman Yemet as when he crashed off into the wall. I think he hit the side of Jono, I think, at some point. Oh, when he was side by side coming towards turn eight. Jockey damage? Really? Very stocky. Oh, Stocky. Oh, Stocky's got more damage. Stocky having himself a race to forget in the Campos car. Oh, Loadman. Oh, a bit of a nudge there on the back of Elite. They're just reminding him that he's a little doesn't time. really need no fucking reminder. Yeah, it's a love tap. It's a little old thing when cars just get together. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Look at this oh, great battle off. for P5. I'm going to go back to that matey now. Anyway, sorry about the intermission from singing pause. That doesn't come up very often. Um, it's, it's, well, I wonder why, really. Uh, Andy P is currently on the back of Dolby. Dolby, mate, has found himself back in P8. Dolby having himself a fantastic race, making up a lot of position. King Chris has got a red X on his name, so he's probably going to take off somewhere towards fucking Uzbekistan again. Oh, Andy on the back. Oh, Andy very close to the back of Dolby. And the trident of Merkabem, after recovering from that damage earlier in the Grand Prix, is... Sort of on the back, he's just kind of hanging in there. We've got a six car battle. Well, Vemmons has got away, so we've got a five car battle here for P6. Obviously, the top eight score points, right? So, this is going to be a really, really big kind of whole process here, Chris. Apparently, doesn't have DRS activated. I don't understand where he is on track. Elite Stun Loadman and put another eight, eight tenths of a second on him, but he's not got him out of DRS, which means Loadman with the next up and coming DRS straight out of the final corner and out of turn three will be deep. On the back of him here, Elite gets the fastest lap of the race, so he's turned up his wick, and he's got his tyres up to speed. As you see the pit ball coming out with the purple letters on it, guys, that of course sim simulates the fastest lap. And we've got Jono, who has actually managed to, from his lap one, um, carnage off the side and a pit oh, stop. Oh, Andy B on Dolby! Dolby. Well Look at this, Andy B! Great! And Merkabem! Merkabem. Dolby runs a bit wide. Merkabem's got through as well. Dolby, oh, that's unfortunate, but there we go. Merkabem. And bye, Chris. <coughs> oh, Chris is off at the road again. Happy days. <laughs> and they'd be a Merkman for the final points being position. These two, we know how badly they both want it. Both very, very competitive individuals. The Hungarian Merkman versus the Irish. Hungary versus Ireland. Oh, That's I know classic what Andy B's like. football match. Not the only mate. Remember me and Austria as well. Bleeding hell. In the um, old era of RF1, me and Andy side by side, pretty much practically the whole way through. And Andy's not giving up on the position here because Chris has moved out of the way. That's cost Merkman DRS. And Andy, if he can keep that ball rolling, and Merkman has all oh, threading the needle. And they're going to go side by side here, surely. Merkman, is he going to get that position back up? No, he is. I thought he was going to go for it. And King Chris is just done. Well, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> somewhere, we'll find out where he is at the end. Uh, Vemmons, mate, his connection seems to have calmed right down, doesn't it? I think the focus mm. of the connectivity now is on King Chris, unfortunately. But like I said, he's turned up to race, and it's not really affecting other people's races negatively. He just keeps disappearing. peering Merka Bebe, have a look at Andy B. Up towards the inside of 9 slash 10. Um, I'll be obviously six watching laps to go. WrestleMania later, ladies and gentlemen. Six, six laps to go, come the completion right, of this how one. How many of us the top are watching two that? Are fucked off. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be in part of it. Obviously, my little lady's going to be there, but I'll be tuning in. Um, obviously, your man is going to be hijacking Ryan's again, I'm assuming. Um, <laughs> my actually, do you know what, Ryan? I found out I actually watched it on my one, my old one last time, but that ran out. Um, so, I'll give you a hug later, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you're ill, I do not want a hug. A virtual hug? There you go, man. You feel warm. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, I'll see you later, mate. Uh, anyway, um, let's go have a look here. We've got ourselves a big battle here between Elite and Loban. Oh, we also have a pretty Chris. big battle here, mate. For Andy B and Merkabem. Jono, we don't know if... Well, is that a real battle? No, 1.5 seconds on that. Jan and King Chris... Jan, sorry, Jan and Vemmons. All battles Merkabem with the SR. And Andy B. 
Oh, he's done him on the outside. DRS assisted very nicely. Done. We'll make him able to slow it down. He does. Covers off the line. I mean, Loman is absolutely on fire. The top two guys have just took off from the rest of the field. Remember, though, Ray, as you've alluded, we've, you've alluded to, and I've alluded to a couple of times each, that these guys are going to be running in the seventh and eighth on the grid this time, so they're going to have to come through. Our mate Merkabem is going to look quite healthy and handy, isn't he? If he's going to be starting P1 in the sprint race, we know he's a pretty, pretty quick individual. Exactly. Will they pit, though, from the soft tyres? That's the question. You're, soft tyres are going to go along like, 12 laps of them softs. Remember, we've seen, That's a stretch. We've, we've seen Bish, he blew out. He did, mate. I know Bish obviously had a... Well, he, he, and he didn't run the whole race. He didn't run the entire race, did he, he? Did. Bishop? Um, I think he, he went... No, I think he unpitted... Well, he was right at the back. Uh, we've got um, Soljan in Zhu's car for the virtual seat. I'm just going to have to follow back here. Uh, still on. And we have ourselves the Dams car of Elite taking on the ART. Or the Dams car of Loman, sorry, taking on the ART. Elite. Stock right behind Dams. Dolby. Yeah, have a look there, mate. Just have a flip back there. We're going to go back up top because they're not currently on a DRS straight here. Comes Elite. He gets the fastest lap on it at 42.4. That's quicker than a, that's nearly as quick as Dolby did in P15 in qualifying. That shows how quick these guys are really pushing here at the moment. But Lopeman hangs with him, though, right? He hangs with him. Let's have a look at the fastest lap differential. It's six hundredths of a second. These two are matching each other corner for corner, lap for lap. And this is the sort of racing we like to see. Maybe not from a perspective of Jono, who has just noticed King Chris has just took off another second down the road from him. But luckily, mate, Chris is going to have his internet back, isn't he, from this week onwards. It's proper internet anyway. So, yeah, stability on connection. Yeah, in Australia or New Zealand, you get restricted on the internet monthly. You certainly do, which, of course, we didn't find out That's until pretty thing. recently. He's not on a hotspot. He's on a better upgrade. He's on an upgraded version of a hotspot, like a sort of dongle, isn't it? But still... I tell you what, mate, because I, my internet connection, that's my, my portable Wi Fi is much worse than Chris's, by the way, so at least Australia have got that sorted out, at least, you know what I mean? Uh, 12 views, guys, thank you for watching as we are just, an, oh, just under five laps, four and a half laps away from pay dirt. So here comes Elite and Loman still on board with that. We've got ourselves another battle here, mate, between Andy B and Merkabem for the final points paying position. I'm going to skip back to that briefly. What? What the? Can you invite him back, please, right? <laughs> he just disappeared on my screen. Oh, dear me. Actually, I've got him here. I've got him, I've got him, I've got him, I've got him. But he was last online three days ago, so... Curious. All right, okay, we're going to go back to the action here. Uh, Loadman chasing down Elite. Well, we're going to see a good battle between Andy B and Merka Ben, but clearly not. <laughs> oh, he's back in. Hopefully we do. Right, so, um, fingers crossed. Andy's still not overtaken Merka Ben's AI, though. Elite gone quicker. Elite, yeah, 1 minute 42.2. Aloman that time did himself a 1 minute 42.5 that lap. And not quite as quick. We're going to go back to the track. Mate, mate, Bish is in a world of his own, man. But that's probably the best place you want to be in this sort of, like, climate, isn't it, really? He's kind of... <laughs> he's chilling, P3. But, of course, as we found out, right, when you're racing by yourself, we had the Austrian Grand Prix where you took off up front, didn't you? And I was, for a time, by myself, making my way through the field. When you're all by yourself... Oh, he's, like he's got to stay there. Yeah. Oh. Bye. Yep, I'm just on that. And Merkabem is back in the Merkabem's back in the race. Not a goal, Andy, by the way. So Merkabem's right back in there. Andy didn't manage to capitalise on the disconnection too much. So I'm just going to stay on board here. I'm going to go to the battle for P10. That looks like it could get a little bit tasty here. Dolby on the back of Jockey. P10, no points scored. Pretty much on this in this battle. And to be fair, Shaggy not having a good race for himself. I'm not sure if he got caught up in any of the kind of misguidings, unless he's just not having a good one in general. But Shaggy down in P13. He may have been caught out in a lag incident earlier. But here comes Loman then. He's currently running in P2. Still, the battle rages on. Three laps to go. Come crossing of the line. So, Loman, um, as soon as this finishes, mate, obviously we'll grab the screenshots as well. And then, mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably say two screenshots, right? One with time and one without. You know, just so we know about penalties and shit. So, I don't think anyone's got a big penalty, though. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, one without the time would be better, wouldn't it? Just so you can yeah. see, like, in case we have it to give anyone penalties and stuff. Uh, Stocky, mate, is not having himself a very good Grand Prix. But he's still going around there, Stocky P15. Good effort here for Stocky. Even though he's running around last, guys. Never say die attitude there. It's a lot harder to be consistent when you're on your own. It is skilly, and it absolutely is, matey. You've got to keep an air of concentration. I've had it a few times in my career mode, as you guys will have seen, where... You know, it's just a case of, have I been able to... Oh, J yeah, John is racing Chris's AI. Chris is in... Chris's AI. Chris is actually about a second and a half up the road. John has gained DRS, and we'll see Chris reappear just up the road. Fuck, he's now. on work with them. 
The jockey's done Merkabam. I'm gonna go. Merkabam? What's happened to Merkabam? Like point. Why is Merkabam? How is he all the way back there? Broken fucking lobby, this I tell you. King Chris is on Red X. I think we're going to... Obviously, I'm not sure if we're going to be... We're, we're, we'll look into it later. There's not really much we can do. Mirko M is really struggling here, mate. I don't know what's happening. Ah, oh, maybe the reset that's how far Andy actually did get in front of him. So Jockey has to make up 2.8 seconds in the course of just under three laps. Loadman then. This is one thing we've been certain for all race of where these two are. They are going to be they're currently battling for the lead, battling for the top spot, and battling for who starts lower on the grid. <laughs> <laughs> Work it out whichever way you want. So here we go then. Yeah. Jono has got King Chris again. Jockey's I don't on know if that is actually million. King Chris. I don't think that's Chris again, you know. Jockey, see, jockey's put a tent on Andy. on Andy. It all depends upon... Oh, why, 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 why am I echoing? What the hell's going on there? Oh, there you go. Stop now. Right, and it, <laughs> that was weird. Um, elite then. Coming down the start finish strip at Lowman. Is he going to be, is he just waiting for the opportunity to going strike? For move on Merkabam. What's happened to Merkabam? What's really happened to him? Merkabam is just falling down like a stone here. Unless something's happened to his car. Lowman Who's that? Just sticking in oh, the back Chris. of the league. Who's what? I, mean, I, I don't know. It's just really dodgy connection there. <clears throat> in spun it on the curb of doom. And then he's still going. He's. <laughs> Well, we really don't know where he is. Uh, Vemmon's connection luckily has sorted itself out. Merkabem is just nowhere. I don't know what's... Unless his car, from the AI oh, perspective, is just going wrong. Right now. Yeah, he's back. Um, just We're doing the best we can here, folks. Obviously working with a bit of a shocking connection with the lobby itself here tonight. Um, hey, we can blame Shane. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Shane's fault. Um, no, it's not his fault at all. It's just uh, people connect. Just everyone's general connected. Remember, guys, we have got here two... We usually have about two or three continents per go, don't we? I've got Australia as well. Coming in, we've got um, Russia. We, it's a very, very European field with Holland represented by Soljian as well tonight. Very, very European field to this lobby here tonight. Other than us, because we're not in the fucking EU at the moment. Kovchi Pitts. He's going for the fastest lap, which will take it off Elite. Curious, mate. Mm-hmm. Very curious. And he's gonna be, he's, yeah, he's easily gonna come out in front of them. The top two have absolutely beelined out of there. Um, Elite and Loman, the big battle for the win. It's been going pretty much all race long, within about a second and a half of each other, the entire way through. I'm actually right, Joan. We're on the results show. I'm gonna bomb out for a smoke, actually, really quick. Again? Because then, obviously, while the. Mate, trust me, it's, it's, man, man's got man's got to keep up that nicotine and keep himself alive. Or kill myself. Um, last lap then. Elite leads Loma by half a second. Loman is has got his DRS on, even though it says it hasn't on my screen. This game is just completely on its bum hole at the moment. But elite then. Loman, here we go then. Last lap. On board with Loman. Flying down the back of the well, I believe that is a straight down to turn four. Here we go then. He's 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 gonna have to have he's gonna have to have one move, isn't he? Mm hmm One chance, unless he's gonna pip him on the line. Loman has to position himself in the correct place on the outside of 9 slash 10. We don't actually really know or give a shit what corner that is really, do we? We could call it 9 and 10. Um, here we go then, Skilly in there. Making that comment about staying on your own, that is the one to do. Stocky, of course. He's going to end the race on the lead lap, which is nice for him. Bit of a confidence boost after a kind of shocking performance for him, of course. Um, so here comes Loman, right? He's, he's too, is he too far back? He's, I think he's too far back. Straight. He's not going to have much DRS assistance on that straight. He's going to have to have an incredible couple of corners here. Yellow flag in sector three. That is Kovji. Kovji going... I think... What's Kovji? I think he's just... Yeah, I think Kovji's waiting. But, yeah, I think he's waiting for the leaders, isn't he? Kovji is... I think, yeah, I think he's realised he's not going to bag the fastest lap. Kovji. He did get out of the way nicely, though. Guess good driver, mate. He didn't want to have to put himself through the last lap. Admittedly, we want to see drivers go for the whole way through, but no worries, Kovchi. We'll be seeing you, obviously, next race, a.k.a. in about two minutes' time. All right, Lowman couldn't get the job done. Elite takes the maiden victory in the RRF1 feature Grand Prix. Great stuff, Bishadinio coming through P3. Andy B is on Soldier Yan, by the way. That's a little cheeky little battle in the background. We had nowhere near as much battling in the end as Brilliant, we had 
it, it's been really, really good. There's been a couple of little dodgy moments. Obviously, a Bishadinho picks up a second podium in two weeks, but this one is the one that counts. Now, I'm curious to see where King Chris is going to come out in all this, because we have no idea where the fuck he is. I think, finally, we've just seen Chris. 8.8. .8. Jono got himself a couple of penalties, which means he's going to fall behind Vemmons. And is he going to fall behind Soldier? Yeah, he does. And he doesn't fall behind Andy B. So Jono falls down to seventh place. Jockey P9. And we've got here Dolby. So Jockey missed out by 1.8 seconds. Dolby with a very, very interesting last couple of laps here for Dolby. Mirka Ben in P11. We've got 12th position Shaggy. Confirmation coming in from the Dams team. Loadman's DRS was broke for the last four laps. Mate, I was going to say it didn't look like it was... Um, Opening. Making him go much quicker, yeah. It, I thought it was just a glitch on our screen, but it obviously wasn't. <laughs> Jono said he didn't know King Chris was in front. That's on a private message, mate. We know, Jono, if you are watching the stream, don't worry about it. There's not really much we can really do, is there? Fair play to Stocky, though, right? Keeping it going. But, and I mate, mean, really, really nice stuff here, mate. That's a pretty, pretty decent feature. It's barring the connectivity issues, that was a really solid drive, right? I'm going to let you do the rundown and grab a screenshot, mate. I'm back in one minute. Oh. Just waiting for Stocky to come round. Here we go, and that is the Formula 2 feature race round one, barring complete. So let's give the rundown of the feature race results. Obviously, we see the drivers on the podium. There it is RF on Elite taking the first win of the season. We have Loadman second and Ishadinio third, three different constructors on that podium. Here we go now, this is the grid rundown, RF1 Elite takes first, Loadman second, Bishadinia third. Just take a screenshot before anyone readies up, before I do the rest of the rundown. We'll see King Chris fourth, Venom's fifth. We've got Soldier Yan in sixth. Uh, Jono seventh, Andy B eighth, Big Harry Jock ninth, Dolby tenth. Murkabem 11th, Skin Shaggy 12th, 13th, Twisted, Stocky 14th, Kovchi 15th. And obviously the bonus point, two points, sorry, for Fastest Slap for Elite gives him 27. Plus the four from Quali, he's currently on 31 going into the sprint. Here we are now, waiting for everyone. Obviously the sprint should just go straight ahead. I don't know if the lobby's just waiting. If it shows me the grid, I can see. Andy B starts on pole now for this next round. John O's second, Soldier Yam third, Ultra Venom's fourth, King Chris is fifth, but he's backed up due to troubles with the car. Yeah, he's backed out, isn't he? Richard you know, Oh, wow, it's actually gone straight to the grid for a change. <laughs> well, I say straight to the grid. Everyone's going off in random order at the moment. Uh, <laughs> cheers for that run down there, right? Bloody brilliant show, buddy. Um, I think we've had a little bit of a running report on Messenger by Jono with King Chris's battle. <laughs> oh, pardon me. All that bit was needed. And here we go, so cars are all over. It shows the actual... Uh, this is formation order, that goes... Yeah, these guys are actually racing. Andy, you can piss <laughs> off that front. That's what you heard. Hmm. 
Mate, it's actually, have you noticed now for a change though, compared to last week, the grid has kind of reassigned itself on the left as well. It didn't do that yeah. last week, did it? It didn't, no. Which is pretty cool. So we've actually got an actual running order. Unlucky there, Chris, having to back out, mate, but still had a really, really solid drive. Mate, Chris, like I said, mate, stay tuned for the show. Gonna be an interesting one. 14 cars, of course, will be attending. I see Chris, I just see Chris. his car breaking down on the in lap back into the pits. He will make the feature race, that uh, sprint race, sorry. So I think Andy's going to try and move himself up into P1. If I was Andy, I'd just stick where I am, save your tyres in a way. Uh, Andy, mate, is running the medium tyre compound here. In fact, they all are, barring Dolby. Oh, Dolby, that's going to be an interesting one. I think Dolby, well, we'd imagine, will have to pit at some point in this Grand Prix. Getting them 12 laps just simply, unfortunately, won't happen. 17 viewers, guys. Thank you very much for watching. That's the most we've actually had right under an F2 race in RF1. Absolutely proud as punch for this, to be fair. Yeah, I got you so an Andy just now message. Yeah, boy. Thank you. <laughs> I went um, so who is that there? Who it is? No, no, no. You're not finding uh, out. Uh, this is Whittington with a trophy on it. Um, <laughs> oh. Well done, Whittington. Welcome in, brother. Just don't, co just don't commentate. Uh, don't comment. Oh, what do I got to do? No, no, no. Pause. No. Oh, Andy B has gone for a spin of Rudy on the formation. That, that's comical. Uh, oh, Andy, oh, Andy got that. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh yeah, the uh, yep, yeah, that's better. <laughs> so I believe that is Whittington follows me. Um, thank you very much. Uh, we got ourselves a new follow. Um, so we're actually going to go to Andy's car. Cheers, my man. Uh, so there we go, Andy. He's, we're going to get on board with his car because he is the guy who's going to be at the start. But his tyres are going to be absolutely rip raw roasted come the actual start of the race, as Andy's about to go and do a gang bang through about seven cars. Oh, Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Bit of Irish nom, bangers. Nom. Oh, Boom. Jono, you're officially <laughs> penetrated through. Yeah, man, J Jono gets away with it. Uh, so we're going, guys. We've got ourselves Here a sprint go. race Four, immediately following five. that feature race. Lights out and away we go for the sprint race. We certainly do, and here comes John. Oh, look at that. Good start there by Jan in the background. We're going to get on board. Let's have a look. It looks like everyone's pretty line of still at the moment. Oh, we've got a bit of a cluster in the midfield now, guys. Just have to be very careful here. Let's watch. Oh, watch out. We're going to get breaking from everybody. Everyone looking okay at the moment. Oh, there's an absolute sandwich of four wide. Oh, Jesus Christ. They've somehow pretty much all made it through. Good effort. Good driving there, uh, guys. Stocky all make it through. Off. Stocky, yeah, I think he's kind of just thought, I'm going to have to wait my moment. Oh, Vemin's still lagging a bit. Vemin's kind of lag calms down after a couple of corners and slash laps. Vemmons is, oh, oh, I think Elite has just hit Dolby. Elite just tapped the side of Dolby there, and Dolby runs off. He comes back on track. Elite give him, let him have the move, and Kovci's moved back. Kovci's backed out. Uh, Lohman and Vemmons. Uh, Vemmons is lagging heavily at the moment. Vemmons, you may have to back out, brother. It was right. Lohman it's sends the inside. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, duh, God damn it. We'll have to check people's connections at the start. Of, and John, John oh. was, is he making a move? John had thought about making a move there on Andy B. Lohman's just like Vemmons. Vemmons. Jockey on the inside of Kovci. Jockey on the inside. Oh, the, the battle's oh. up and down the field. Oh, mate, we just, mate, there's a three wide here pretty Brilliant much. And we've got ourselves a battle here. Who's that there with, with him? Let's have a look here. John o is having a battle here with Andy B. These two old RF1 Division 2 right rivals from the previous season. John o takes the lead of the Grand Prix. Vemmons in P4. Jan P5. Elite has done Dolby. Bishadinho trying to make his way through. He started in P6, of course, after coming in third. Vemmons there deciding to do a fucking alien movement there from P4, but he's still... The connectivity is okay for him, even though it looks like sometimes he is currently trying to do the Macarena down the straight. Bishop here having a go at Dolby. Macarena. Dolby's tyres will be absolute toast. Yeah, same Bishop thing. on the inside um, of Dolby. Oh, no, Dolby's got him back on the outside. Oh, he's got him down. Bishop oh, he's Dino takes the oh, position. Dolby runs up to the curb, but that's not all, mate. The, the trident here comes the trident. Have a yeah. himself a look in. And this, this looks like it's going to be easy pickings. He's going to go for Bish. Dolby's under the slipstream of Bishop here. Are we going to see a three wide move here? We are. Look at this. Three wide into the first corner. Two three wides into the first corner. Jan backs out, Vemmons, oh, Vemmons, oh, oh, Dolby, Jesus Christ, Dolby, Dolby's actually made it work, Dolby's made it work, oh, a little bit of a collision with Merkab and Bishop there, and Merkab just behind there, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, Bishop in the Carlin, Bishop in the Carlin, Merkab is going three up, oh my God, Merkab, look at this, these guys are lunatics in the fucking sprint, in the, in the sprint races, look at this, Shaggy there in P10, Shaggy P10, race. Bishop, uh, I may as well then, mate, I feel like a bit of a spoon, uh, here we go, oh then, my Dolby's God, Dolby, Dolby, does. Yeah. Dolby Ooh, great stuff, great Dolby keeping Bishop look behind him, the top ten, Oh, battling everywhere, look at this, guys. And Andy B, and there seems to be a gap, but look at this. Oh, Jan on the back of Elite there. But we're going to now see Loadman Ooh, and Elite. Uh -oh. Come to the back of these guys. Vemmons is in P5. 
And look at this bit of the battle for P. Remember, eighth position in this race, right, isn't it? Sorry, forgive me. We'll look at the wrong race in the Campos of Kovci. Snaking around the outside of Shaggy, who I believe has got damage, is he? No, he hasn't. Sorry, it was just the angle of the car. Jockey P12. He had to score a point, Jock, has he? Oh, no, I think he got one. He came P10. No, he didn't. He came 11th. Uh, Vemmons has been over to... Jan's gone right around the outside. Vemmons, where the hell's he off to? Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, Bish has done Dolby around the outside. Which means Merkabem's going to have a move up the inside here. Merkabem all this is on brilliant. the side of Dolby. Look at Andy B. Dolby holds it, but he runs wide. Up to the top. Okay, moving back down. <laughs> Merkabem has done Dolby. Merkabem has done Dolby. Look, Kovji's on the back of him. Kovji's done Dolby around the outside. Kovji uses the momentum of his slipstream from Merkabem to move into P9. Dolby, oh, a bit of a nudge on Kovji. Kovji, oh, a bit of a here nudge goes, there from here goes Dolby. Andy B. No harm done. Andy look B on the other Look at this, squeeze Look, Jesus Christ, Andy B with a fast slap. Jono squeezed him as far as he could, which he's perfectly entitled to do. Mate, I've got to go back there because there's an absolute plethora of cars going back. Keep an eye on the lead for me a minute, mate. Um, Vemmons and Merkabem. Now it goes loads when all Andy B. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. DRS is not. It looks like his DRS is still broken. Andy, Andy has squeezed Jono. Andy squeezed Jono back. Oh, the two of them. Oh, a bit of a touch there. A bit of a touch. These two are absolutely kicking crap out of each Jono has. Found himself down in P3. Loman, no, he hasn't because Loman's on the inside curb. Oh, Loman. Oh, he spun on the curb. Loman spun on the curb. And where the hell's he gone? Oh my god, another one who doesn't like fucking billboards. Someone got a phobia to polystyrene tonight or something, for fuck's sake. Shaggy's Loban in the points. Back on track. Shaggy, is he going to be in the points? He's been there before in this race and he does. Round the outside of Loman, but Kovchi's thinking, I'm going to have a little go at you here. Oh my god, man, I don't think my fucking throat can take this shit. I need a drink. One minute. <laughs> well, no, I can't have a drink because Kovji's having to go at Loman. Kovji's just set up the inside. Ultra Loman's just decided to do a fucking, fucking Paul Daniels and disappear down the straight. Oh, fuck, that felt good. Oh my god, I need to do that. Right, okay. Kovji's done Loman. Kovji up the inside of Loman. Oh, Kovji, oh, comes right back across him. Look at the minimum amount of room Kovji's in, but that's perfectly legal. Perfectly legal. Perfect squeeze in by the Russian. I'd never say I thought a Russian driver can drive, but carry on, oh, here comes Ludman. Well, Loman back at the inside there and makes the move. Oh my god, he goes back in the P9. Look, he's having a Look at the poor race. Down a P12, not made any moves so far. So here we go then, let's go back up to the top. Jono with DRS activated. Jono and Andy B, the back, these two have become the two, have become the elite. Oh, an elite. Oh, speaking of elite, there goes another fastest lap <laughs> for him. Jono down the outside. Is he going to have enough momentum to get the move done before the straight? Andy B late on the brakes. Oh, a bit of a dink there from Andy. That's, you know, handbags.com. Oh, Bishardini right behind Soldier Jan. This is why I love these sprint races. Look at the top two all over each other. Make this. Oh, my God, Jesus. Any more moves? Elite is just waiting in the background in the ART. And the Sauber Junior team. Look, look at Jono. Go for the switch back. I'm on it, I'm on it, mate, I'm on it. Jesus fucking Christ. I need to join the fray. We'll go back to Bishadinho, who dun, has Merkabem all over him now. Absolutely brilliant racing here all round. Elite has joined the party. Speaking of... Oh, Dolby's fell to P12. He's been overtaken by two cars here, Dolby. His tyres are going to be absolutely fucking destroyed. The trident of oh Twisted there. Look at Soldier Jan down to Venoms. Uh, it's a four-way for four. Blood. I never thought I'd see that. It's a four way for four way for eight sector two. Someone's gone off. Twisted and Twisted's gone off. Twisted spun. I don't know if that's a contact or something. I didn't I missed that. Twisted there, I believe he was on the back of Dolby. That may be it. Oh, we've got this yellow flag sector two. Twisted keeps it going. Right, we haven't actually had a retirement in this entire Grand Prix weekend so far, so we're doing <laughs> so far. Uh, Oh, uh, yep, there goes co uh, Corona.com. Uh, there goes my video band. Uh, yes, I'm suffering from similar symptoms. Don't worry about it, John O'Neill. Taps the back of Andy. Great racing, but Elite. Elite yeah. is. And Bishadinho's done him! Bish has done him, Bish has done Jan. Up to P4 now. So Merkabem is right in the right in the wings here. Jesus Christ, the Carling cars are doing very well again, Ray. The only two cars to get double points finished, remember last race. And well here we go. Merkab no, what, did, did, no they did yeah they did, didn't they? Vem and San Bishadini both got points. Um, so here we go, down the start finish trip, we're going to go on board with Jono. Andy makes a defensive manoeuvre. Jono flicks back to the outside, just in front of the league there. Told you free one. Oh, a bit of a... It's 3 1! Nah! Nah! And Merkabem's come through. They've made it Bishop work! Bishop always tap the back of him. Oh, not quite. Bishop Daniel taps the back of Merkabem there. And Loma comes through on Bish. And Shaggy's there. We've got to go back up to the top because Elite's on Jono. Wait, can you guys give us a fucking. Goddamn. Give us a goddamn break for fuck's sake. 
And this is a no contact on Twisted. That's from uh, VRL Hammy, aka Monster Adolby and Kovchi Pits. Kovchi's Pits, he must have had damage. Yeah, John with a three second penalty. That could Donna's be just huge. Punted Andy B. Uh, I've actually missed something. I went on to. I may have caught it slightly on stream. I, I went back to see what Jan Law were doing back there. But I'm going to stick on board with the front three. If you could just keep an eye on the next group, please, matey, if you can, because there's a. There's a train yeah, of wells, everybody else. Just a four. Um, oh, it's going to turn into a five way soon. <laughs> oh, Vemmons has gone wide. Vemmons has gone wide. Loma's just got Vemmons there. Oh, that was slightly kinky. Um, you don't really want to go inside each other, guys. This is a PG stream, of course. I guess Mecca. Oh, <laughs> he's holding up behind. Just back up to the top. I'm back onto the guys at the top here, the top three battling. We're nearly halfway through. This is why I love these sprint races, mate. It's literally like a five lapper, but clean. Uh, <laughs> Merkabem has found himself on the back of Soldier Jan here. Yeah, Merkabem I'm looking for his that. first points. If you keep on front, I'll keep on this. Okay, I've, got, I've, I've had to go back to Jono because he's all around the B here. What a Merkabem mad race this has been so move. far. Keeping his wits. Oh, look at this, Jono on the back of Andy B. Elite's going to be there too. Oh, Jono there with Perth Ball Sector 3. He's way closer than he was last lap. He should have been done here before the corner. The DRS is still broken. It is Loman's oh, We've got Merkabem on Jan. We're going to go back to Merkabem. It just doesn't seem to... And Merkabem's just done opening, it. is it? He's done it great. It was a DRS assisted move, but they all count, of Ooh, course. And Jono moves to the, the inside. Jono moves to the inside. That's still part of his one defensive manoeuvre, of course. Jono has gone somewhere towards fucking Here we go. Oh, Team no AP. Jesus Christ. They are in a battle P9. They've got a battle developed for P9. Elite and Jono ran wide, by the way, there, right? He's fallen two places now. He's down to third. Elite has all of a sudden found himself back up there. Merkabem got a purple. Mate, keep an eye on Merkabem now. Purple first sector. He, for the first time in this entire Grand Prix. And look at Vemmons and Loadman. Vemmons has just got Loadman back. That's brilliant really overtaken. DRS. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Kovchi's Kovchi, Kovchi, um, is that Kovchi, um, Ooh. where's my, um... In the pits, okay, right. We'll keep on that. Well, don't need to. It's, it's happened. Um, if it doesn't cause any issues, then oh he's God. done it around the outside. Caught that there, guys. Loadman up into. Well, Jono has gone right back again, mate. Jono's having problems. Jono, I think, is having real issues here because he's fallen two and a half seconds off the back of Elite, which means Andy B is now susceptible to a maximum points first feature race scorer. AKA Elite. Remember, technically, guys, there are 24 rounds in the F2 Championship. He got pole as well, of course, didn't he? So he has absolutely uh, maxed out 30. Rounds, oh, sorry, yeah, 24 20 rounds. 24 rounds, 12 times 2. Yeah, goes Elite. Is he about um, to get on board for the max this points should be ever in a form of oh, the Saying that, mate, Merkabend just got a faster slap, so it may not be the case. And Elite, though, will be able to do his thing here. Andy's having a fight back, but oh, Elite seems to have the momentum. But Andy's... Oh, Andy loses it a bit there. That's going to really cost him. I think Elite... Oh, Loman and Vemmons are still all over each other. Well, Loman... His DRS is working. His DRS is finally back on, so now Loman can finally push. And look, Vemmons is having a little look at Loman here. Stocky's coming to the pits. He's shedding his rubber. You don't have to use two sets of tyres, of course, in this race. Bish is just Bish hanging is it all Bish had quite quiet races, didn't he? Yeah, but, he's oh, pardon me, that was another subtle. beautiful burp. Remember, though, guys, we'll be coming through just over half distance now, then, right? We are then watching Andy B. Andy B's had a pretty good line. Oh, look at that elite managing just about to keep momentum coming out the corner. And all of a sudden, Merkabem and Jono. Merkham had an incident with Kovji. Of course, Kovji unfortunately pulled it into the pits to retire the car, saving the car for next week, of course. Engine parts, that turns uh, rage quitting into a much nicer thing. <laughs> he didn't blow it into a wall, though, did he? So he's not really rage quit. He just kind of gave up, but no worries. Kovji's having himself a very bad night. Hopefully we see Kovji okay, back be on next the week. He's caught back up to him, so I'm going to go back up to the top. We've got battles going on up and down the field. Bish has managed to pull himself up to the back of Soldier. Jan's battle. Jan having himself a bit of an issue in the Uni Virtuosi Grand Prix racing team. The Dams and the two Carlins both still in the points. As Team OAP, as Rice said, but as we call them, BWTR, and currently <laughs> racing themselves. Racing they are the last two who haven't stopped, barring Twisted and DB. 
He's not got the momentum, as he? Twisted, fights back immediately and gets that fastest lap. He's got that DRS open. He's going to storm Make up, Shaggy. Um, whoa. And Jan has managed to keep Loadman behind him. Jan runs wide at turn one. Loadman comes through. Vemmons on the back of Jan as well. Jan manages to hold it back from Vemmons. Like I said, these two old ESR compadres from way back in the day. Good tweet 2017. We're looking back here. Many, many on trap battles between these two reliving past memories. You see their Team Pink in the background, P9 and P10, waiting for one Vemons person to What's make a mistake. Over? And that's why, because Vemmons has just had a bit of a Jono's spin. gone off. Jo where's Jono gone? Oh, that is He's gone to Qatar. Where you want to go? He's gone to find oh, Rashid. Yeah, he went... Oh, and, mate, that's probably the best return of the track I've ever seen. Oh, Jono's tyres. Jono's tyres overheating. This is going to cause issues coming into the next corner. Jono's going to have to be very, very cautious and careful here. And Bishadinho has overtook Vemmons because Vemmons made a mistake. Bish has all of a sudden found himself up two places. But has he found himself up two places? Because they both have DRS. Bishop makes the move stick. John needs to cool and tires down now. We know John does have the pace, mate, don't we? But he's now in the middle. And John has come from the inside here and pulls it off. But Bishop goes back around the outside on board. Look at this view from Ultra Vemmons' car. And look, we're going to go up and see if we can get a good camera angle. Jono keeps the move. Bishadinho went to go for the outside. But these, I love these guys racing these cars. These guys just don't give a fuck today. It's brilliant racing to watch. Probably not good for my heart, which is currently beating a little bit fast right now. So after this race, I'm going to have what many would consider to be called a breather. Yeah. <laughs> but here we go then. So a bit of a space out now. Oh, but then we've got Jono, Bishadinho. I don't know, but this, them two, they're just battling just outside the points, aren't they? P penalties may come in handy in this Grand Prix. And that's a terrible camera angle. From both cars, we'll have to go on board with Jono to get a good look for P6. Yeah, Jono and Bishadinho. steaming down and he overtakes his teammate. Well, Does yet. he overtake him though? Because Shaggy's not going to make Shaggy's not going to give it up easily. We know Shaggy will battle you all day long and does battle all day long. And there you go, oh, young sir. What happened at USA? Shaggy. Uh, wee! But Jono's caught Jan. Jono's caught Jan, goes down the inside. Jono, does he break late this time? He does. Oh, Jan's caught him, which means Bishop's going to be able to have a bit of a run. And Vemmons still is now at this, of course. Shaggy only 1.6 seconds behind now. The front four have pretty much all kind of sorted themselves out, haven't they? Barring penalties. And it's looking like he's going to do the double. But obviously anything can happen. We saw Elite have an incident in the pre-season race, ironically, round this track. Right, the next time we race, I believe it's Baku, isn't it? Yes, we go to the street circuits of Europe. Baku. Good luck with that one, motherfuckers, I tell you. <laughs> I'm fucking happy I'm in the comms box. Um, I think you can Monaco. <laughs> Three weeks ago. Oh, yeah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, Spain's F2 as well, isn't it? I think, yeah, Spain is yep. the third round of the championship, forgive me. Yep, so we've got Spain. That's going to be fun to watch. I know uh, and Monaco's even more fun. So, even of course, we are going to be... Um, France in these cars. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. That's really... I make the one I'm looking forward to. You know me. Mr. Austria. <laughs> Can't wait for that shit. But here we go, then we're on the battle of P5 then. We just got the race leaders coming around to complete lap number nine, so three laps to go at the end of this one as right about now. We go to lap ten, just under three laps to go now for pretty much everybody in there. And yeah, it's good with Merkabem. Merkabem gets another fastest lap. He now has the bit between his teeth. He wants second place. And look at Bishadino staying on the slipstream of Yano. Oh, oh Andy's gone! Oh, what happened, Andy? Andy's gone off. And he's gone off. He's going to come right back on in front of the dams car of Loadman. And what, mate, did you see it? I didn't see it. I was watching the battle behind. He just... But his brakes failed. He, is he, he, oh, dear, Andy. Look, mate, he, he wasn't really battling, was he? It must just be an individual error. Andy's going to be fuming at himself here. He falls behind down to P4. Loadman onto the podium. Obviously, with the F2, we don't do podium interviews, of course. But... Obviously, we'll give a shout out to everyone who gets it. Elite looking absolutely... Well, he's looking godlike now, isn't he? Mate, you know what? I can't wait to see Rai. Merkabem versus Elite. <laughs> that battle this season. Well, there's a few. You've got Loadman as well, haven't you? There's a few guys who are all battling Indeed. in that top sort of remit, top bracket. But then it may differ from place to place. Remember, these are F2 cars. They handle slightly different from one another. You know, each car has different quirks. If it doesn't, then bite me, because I'm saying it does for now. John OP5 trying to chase down Andy B. These two, of course, weirdly, right? We're battling. Bish and on and as well. the first part. Bish pulls back into the slipstream. Of Jan. I mean, I can't drive these cars, mate. Fair play for them driving the way they are. Andy's gone off again. They are, oh, Andy, Andy always falling to fifth. Andy's really struggling, mate. This is going to have to be down to tyre wear, you'd imagine now. I mean, you can get 12 laps out of these tyres, but it is a bit of a push. 
Twisted, of course, is not. He's just had himself a bit of a shocker tonight, hasn't he? No points, of course, here for the Trident of Twisted. But Merkabem about to score Trident's first points. Obviously, we then have Rai doing the points tables for us. Thank you very much to the Sneaky for all of the hard work you're doing there, mate, for us there. And obviously, everybody else now, I mean, absolutely smashing it. Even all the drivers, mate. You know, everybody involved in RF1 to the advertisement, to everyone here. Affiliate leagues, Rai, remember, we can't obviously say bad stuff about them, mate. You know, your VRL, your VRC. You know, I've got, I don't usually give shout outs to the leagues, but SF1 as well, mate, you know. You know, affiliated with PF PRF1 recently, and Solji Jan's ran wide. And Bishadinho gets the position up into P6, and Jan's off. Jan's off. No, Jan has gone right off. Jan's off, which means the eight, the, the, the pink cars are now oh. battling now, right for the final the position. Point. Oh, Jan's gonna be gutted. Solji Jan gutted. And by the way, Merkabem is absolutely fucking flying. But it isn't enough unless Elite drops it. This is now danger territory for these tyres. Even for Formula 1 cars, right? Doing 12 laps around Bahrain on mediums is a pinch. Oh, and speaking of pinch, Andy's round again. Oh, Andy's having a shocker, which means both Arden cars are oh, in the points. The points. Both from nowhere, Andy and Soldier Jan, both having collective shockers in this race. Andy, more than anyone, Andy B was basically, remember guys, battling for the lead not five, six laps ago. I and it's wow. all gone. Completely disappeared and evaporated. No points for Campos Racing, which is worth mentioning as well there, right? Both cars, both things, Stocky and Kofji, both have the potential to score yeah, points. Yeah, had a bit of an gone again. Jono. Andy is raw. Oh, whoa, Andy's having himself a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, the dam's car of Loman currently sitting in P3. And we've still got a battle, mate, which means now the focus now is between the two Carlins and also the two Ardens. Remember the Jan Indeed. was a bit quicker than these guys. Elite enters his final lap as do the top three. But, oh my god that burp was absolutely necessary. Lohman! Lohman picking up fastest lap. Now these guys are going to be absolutely careering around. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, jockey on Shaggy. Jockey. I am watching that battle mate as we speak. Jockey and Shaggy. Shag stays it perfectly into the middle of the road meaning Jockey's going to have to manoeuvre his way around. He's not managed to do it this whole race. Shaggy but he's done him. Will Jockey break early enough? He does, but Shaggy does have the RS. The battle for P7, which was the battle for P... Oh, oh dear. Oh, Andy, oh, oh no. That, that's not the way to go around there, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> I don't know Andy, what happened. Not having himself fun. Spun, mate. Spun on the final corner. And Andy's still spinning, but I'm going to keep my eye... Don't you, Andy, everyone. On, on. Yellow flag, that's Andy. Sector 3, yellow flag really struggling as Andy. He got himself some points, didn't he? In the first Look Grand Prix, Andy got himself. Quite a bit. Not, oh, and Andy's coming to the pit. Oh, speeding in the pit of Andy. That's just... Oh, just get, oh and there you go, retirement. Andy's saving the car, mate, isn't he? Saving the car. You know, there's not going to be... It's not going to impact the race at all on the second to last lap, so... On the final lap, so we're going to move on board. Elite, mate, has been... I wouldn't say in a class of his own. In terms of points, it's going to look that way, right, isn't it? He's absolutely bossed the points this race. But... To finish first, as they say, first you've got to finish. We are on the last lap, though, mm -hmm. so remember there are still potential changes that can happen with, obviously, penalties, etc. We Maybe may see a couple of guys jump others. An elite bombs across the line to win back-to-back. He, -back. he claims the clean sweep. Round Bahrain. Lodeman gets the fast up for now. Will Jono bag the fastest up? No, he doesn't. Jono does get P4. Will Bishadino get in? gets he more. Does, he does. Gets Both in. Carlins. Both Carlins overtake the Alpha Junior, the Samba Junior. Jockey and Shaggy. Good stuff by them picking up Arden's first points of the season. Twisted will be looking for a much better performance than the Trident. Luckily, his team at Merkabem had himself an absolute monster of a last Grand Prix, didn't he? Starting in P11, put himself all the way up into, well, technically P10, wasn't it, in the end? But mate, nine positions game, Merkabem, I'd say, will be my driver of the day in the feature in the sprint race, tied together with, well, you have to say elite, don't you? This man looking a class above at the moment. But remember Loadman was his biggest rival in the previous Grand Prix. <laughs> Loadman just saying about his DRS. And that Rye, thanks to Stocky crossing the line, unlucky for Stocky. <laughs> Apparently Loman had no DRS across both races, but I think it just kind of come back together. That was a really, really fun race there. Twister said, what a load of shit. I mean, Twisted obviously spinning around, not really ideal. Um, but what an amazing race, guys. Pete says, great racing all around, mimics me. So, we Two have... Two winners, trophies, from back to the ART. 
It certainly is, matey. Only one driver you can maybe share him out with his teammate. Um, I believe it was Koala, wasn't it, actually, his teammate? Um, hopefully yeah, we see him in the Was it Russia, New Zealand? Yeah. yeah, man. Quarantine, lockdown. Uh, <laughs> there's actually no fans here, guys. These are all paper cardboard cutouts. And there is two metres between each person on the podium. I'm not taking the piss. I'm being serious. Uh, right, ladies and gentlemen. So, I thought all this was filmed before coronavirus. That's probably what I could say. John was left session. So, right then, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves our back-to-back -back win. Right, run through the last one. You have me running through this one. So, here is the so fastest lap, of course. Oh, there you go. Go on, the right. Nail it. Grand Prix. <laughs> we got RF1 Elite taking the victory again. I'll just take another screenshot, of course, of this beautiful Grand Prix. Um, Mirko Bentex P2, Lodeman in P3, Bishadinho P4, Ultra Venoms P5, Jono P6, Jockey and Shaggy taking 7th and 8th. Fastest lap obviously goes to Lodeman, so he gets the bonus 2 points. Now, as you can see, look, just before I carry on with the order, there's less points, but it still only goes down to 8th. Obviously, 9th, Soldier Yang, 10th, Twisted. Mate, um, the, the um, feature race actually went to 10th, didn't it? No. I actually went to 10th the feature race. Yeah, Dolby um, got a point for 10th place. At least it said on the screen anyway. I, I don't know if that kind of... Yeah, it said um, 9th and 10th got points. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is your rundown. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in this evening. And I'm going to be going live again, funnily enough, which I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway because I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, I'll be going live, guys, in my career mode in approximately five minutes' time. Uh, so if you guys fancy staying tuned... Give yourself a bit more racing to watch. Feel free to do so. But on behalf of RF1 and hashtag PMS Productions, this has been your man, Positively Glad, with Sneaky a Wolf here this evening. Sneaky. It has been an absolute monster start. It certainly has been, mate. We, we've given you all them fucking hashtags, but most importantly, guys, be sure to keep yourself safe. Stay at home and enjoy what content you're going to be getting. Like I said, guys, us as streamers, we're here. We're in the same position as you. You know, we just want you guys to enjoy yourselves under these bad times. So I just want to say thank you. And on behalf of everybody here, much love and good night.